Model, influencer, and reality star Olivia Colpo has been the bane of star athletes and pop stars alike. Now that she's officially tying the knot, here's what some of her highest profile exes have said about her. More than a decade before getting engaged to San Francisco 49er Christian McCaffrey, Colpo seems to have had quite an adventurous romantic life while she was coming up in the pageant world. After winning her first pageant, Miss Rhode Island, she represented her home state in the Miss USA pageant and ultimately took home the crown. That December, Colpo won Miss Universe representing the United States. However, before she was crowned Miss Universe, she made headlines with a rumored romance with an Olympian. While their relationship has never been officially confirmed, Colpo and Olympic swimmer Ryan Lochte were spotted together on two separate occasions in the same month, which many took as a sign they were romantically linked. During an interview with E! News, Lochte shared some nice words about Colpo, prompting speculation that these two were something more than friends. She's beautiful, and uh, I mean, I love hanging out with her. She has a great sense of humor. Um, she makes me laugh, uh, and she's a, just a good girl to hang out with. However, Colpo wasn't gushing over the swimmer when asked about their relationship. Stating that they were merely friends, she told the New York Post, People make up things when they see people together. We met, and the next thing you read something like that. You can't really base it off of just meeting someone. Maybe Lochte was trying to make his move on Colpo, but regardless of his intentions, things didn't work out between the model and swimmer. Olivia Colpo was further thrust into the spotlight when she began dating Nick Jonas of the Jonas Brothers in 2013. She was so dedicated to their relationship that she packed her bags and moved from her home state of Rhode Island to Los Angeles to be closer to the singer. My whole identity was in him, which is a very common story of a young person in love. After two years together, Colpo and Jonas broke up in 2015, with the model stating on her reality show The Colpo Sisters that Jonas was the one to end things. Before the two split, Jonas may have hinted to people that being away from Colpo for long periods of time due to his music career might have been a factor. He explained, I think that the long distance thing can be tough, but try to stay in communication, keep it transparent and honest, and it should be okay. Despite their separation, it's safe to say that Jonas was enamored with Olivia Colpo before their split. It turns out that his hit song Jealous was written about the beauty pageant queen. Featuring lyrics about a man who gets jealous when other men show his partner attention, Jonas explained to Fuse that the song was inspired by an experience the pair had, where another man was openly checking out Colpo while they were out together. He reflected, I'm in a very happy relationship and it was all in my head. That's what I pulled from this experience and the song. That said, Jonas did cast Culpo as the leading lady in the Jealous music video, which certainly helped to drive his point home. Before connecting with Christian McCaffrey, Culpo dated another NFL player. Beginning in early 2016, she had an on-again, off-again romance with wide receiver Danny Amendola that wouldn't officially end until April 2019. The end of their relationship became public knowledge after footage of Culpo dancing with German DJ Zed at Coachella appeared online. In response, Amendola went on a rampage on his Instagram. Reporting on the since-deleted post, people stated that Amendola addressed that he and Culpo lived two very different lifestyles, writing, I believe there should be a boundary between private life and social media. Olivia believes in a fishbowl lifestyle. This fundamental difference was huge in our relationship. Amendola's long rant also included private information about their relationship and sex life, as well as some jabs at Zed. The NFL player shared, Not sure what's in the future, but the only thing I care about is her happiness. And if that's dancing with a scrawny little f so be it. Years later, in a trailer of her show The Colpo Sisters, the former Miss Universe mentioned being in a relationship with someone who did, quote, horrible, horrible things to her. I was made to feel like a less than human in every sense of the word. Based on these explicit posts, we might have a pretty solid idea of who she's talking about.